Ali and his corner in particular know just how close they are to winning this fight via stoppage. Yeah, you're a hundred percent right. Because realistically, the entire game plan would change. Yep. The Ali in what was white, now pink, vague. In the black. The black trunks of they're on their way down. Yeah, he's almost lost them here. Siali's left eye, that's close to closing. He's not going to be able to see much out of that. That looks like it's close to popping as well, Andy. Oh, oh nice. They tag twice. Rapid fire gloves. Siali. What a fire. It's a credit to the promoter, credit to the matchmaker, credit to Fox Sports. Absolutely awesome fight. He goes those bubbles on the nose of Dominic Vey again. Oh, as he wears a left hand and another. And another. And gives some back of his own. It's a left to front at the moment. They're trading lefts. And that will work in the favour of Siali, who's a natural southpaw. Throws a right in as well. And with two minutes to go in the 11th, they are back into it. You said 11, Andy. Can you believe this is the 11th round? Amazing. Siali's oh. corner's calling for the body. I think it's a bit late now for the body. Hang on, what's Faye's corner doing? They're up on the boat. What is Dominic Faye's corner doing? We might have an issue here because the trainer is up on the ring apron and very simply not allowed. No, it's uh, you can be disqualified for doing it. You, you could be declared as throwing the tail in or, you know, once you step up onto that apron during the round. Left hand there by Siali, met with a left hand by Bay. And a slip on the water in the red corner. Didn't do their man any favours here because now he is trapped and Bay is circling. Bay's corner calling for the uppercut and I think they're right. Try, try something different. The right hand's over the top. Oh, as Siali lands a left hand down the middle as Bay comes in. Switches to orthodox Siali. Round number 11, he's been in a war and he's got time to think the switch. 20 seconds left in the penultimate round. And wherever you're watching live around Australia, lean back a little bit if you can, because the next three minutes are going to be something very, very special. What a finish. Hard round the score, maybe lean towards Dominic Bay. One round to go. There were moments in the 11th we thought it may have been over as well. Incredible. Amazing. What we have seen here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The 12th and final round. The 
There's a big crowd down here at Penrith and uh, they're all on their feet. Yes, they only needed to pay for 10% of the seat because they're just sitting on the front. That is the type of fight it has been. Engaging and a lot of us have ridden every punch, every emotion. Oh, they will tend to a right hand. It would be spectacular a finish here, but this one does deserve to go to the judges' scorecards. Yeah, you're right, Andy. As the Dominic chant goes up, Siali's not finished yet. No, he's doing it in front of family and friends, a genuine motivator, Dominic Vay. These are career-shortening fights, though. Oh, 100%. Whether you win or lose, this takes an effect, takes a toll. Look, Dominic Vay, I'm not sure what the, uh, you know, the rematch clause or the defence clause in the Commonwealth title is, but he needs a spell out of the gym. Yeah? He needs to go away from the gym for a few months. He yep. had a tough fight against Anthony McCracken. His nose opened up in round one. He needs a, you know, a few months away from the gym. Oh. Halfway through the 12th round. 12th and final. And if this was back in the 1960s and it was 15 rounds, they would still be throwing leather then. Yeah, you're right, Andy. As, as uh, Siali lands a good left hand. Oh, as Bay oh. comes walking in. That is a hole in Dominic Bay's nose. More bubbles in that than a spa bar. Look at, look at Siali's left eye is absolutely closed. It is swollen shut. Dominic Bay's right eye is not far behind. And this is going to leave scars, not just physical. Final minute of one of the wars of the century. One of the greatest fights in Aussie boxing history. Without a doubt. It has had everything. As the clock counts us down. And in fact, the clock is the only thing that will ever beat Dominic Vey or Oscar Ciali. The canvas is covered in blood. Both men are busted. They are hurting. But with hearts the size of their states, they continue. The crowd stands as one. We hope you are too live around Australia because this is Aussie boxing at its very, very finest. Siali's corner is very confident. They think they've got Dominic Vey. I still have Dominic Vey ahead by a couple of points. What a performance by both guys. Outstanding effort. Get the stools, let the guys have a seat. Yeah, it might be time to let both boys sit down for, well, a week or two to start with. I've got Dominic Fay up by three points. That is unofficial. Our three ringside judges, Charlie Lucas, Trevor Christian and Des Bloyd. They've got a tough job ahead of them. Yeah, they do. They do. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a uh, difference of opinion yeah, amongst definitely. the judges' scorecards. A couple of points either way. Yep. For mine, Dominic Vey's uh, middle rounds, if he gets a win, that's what it's from. I thought he dominated early on in the middle round, sorry, I should say. It was back and forth from round, say, you know, round eight or nine onwards. A bruising encounter, and that is the understatement of the night. They just kept going. Dominic Vey's only got to drive down the freeway to Blacktown. Poor old Oscar Ciali. It is going to be an uncomfortable trip in seat 34C. He deserves to be upgraded. When he heads back to Auckland, New Zealand. Look at that for an eye. A memento. Oh, 
Oscar Ciali says thank you to the crowd. They're appreciative, let me tell you. We are waiting for the official scorecards. They are in, so let's go to Rick Powell. Ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed probably one of the finest fights in Australian boxing history. Put your hands together for these two warriors. We now take you to the judges' scorecard where we see Charlie Lucas score them out 116, 113. We see Judge Trevor Christian score them out 114, 114. We see Judge Des Bloyd score it 115, 113. Your winner by majority decision, ladies and gentlemen, Blue Corner, Dominic Vey, the new Commonwealth Cruiserweight Champion! The outpouring of emotion on the outside of the ring. And the humility inside the ring. They are exhausted. They don't have the energy to celebrate. And Dominic Vey is the new Commonwealth Cruiserweight champion, a disappointed man, Oscar Ciali. He is gutted. What a night of professional boxing, and before Oscar goes, let's call for a rematch. We'll give him six months off and have a Christmas special.